Adam Mickiewicz is known as Poland's greatest romantic poet. The bard's life and work has had a tremendous influence on many generations of Poles. He shaped the Polish language, inspired a national uprising, and promoted an inclusive model of Polish nationalism. And yet, during his lifetime, Mickiewicz hardly ever stepped foot in what we know as present-day Poland. Adam Mickiewicz was born in 1798 near to Nawachrudak, a city now in Belarus. For most of the 1700s, this region formed part of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. But just a couple years before Mickiewicz was born, it was incorporated into the Russian Empire during the so-called Partitioning of Poland. Mickiewicz spent his early days in this region, and its memory would become a constant present in his work. In 1823, Mickiewicz was detained for months by the Russian secret police for a supposed plot against Russia at Vilnius University. He was eventually forced to leave his homeland, to which he would never return. In Russia, Mickiewicz's amazing gift for poetry enabled him to mingle in the high society salons of Petersburg, Crimea and Moscow. He became friends with Russia's biggest star Pushkin and earned international fame as a genius Slavic bard. In 1829, finally breaking away from the thrall of the Tsar, he embarked on a ship to Western Europe. His grand tour of Europe took him to Germany, Switzerland, Italy and France, before it was interrupted by the news of the uprising in his country. In 1831, he spent a couple months in Wielkopolska, which following the partitions was in Prussia at the time. It would be the only point during his lifetime when he was actually in what we know as Poland today. But he decided not to cross the border and didn't join the November uprising erupting across the Russian partitioned area. He spent most of the following years as an emigre writer in Paris, writing poems, teaching Slavic literature and leading a happy but hard family life. Eventually, he dropped literature altogether to become a social activist and fighter for the freedom of oppressed nations. During this period, he wrote the famous Statement of Principles, seen as an early draft of a liberal democratic constitution for Europe. In it, Mickiewicz envisages a reborn Poland where all citizens, including peasants, Jews and women, would enjoy equal rights. In 1854, he embarked on his final trip. He headed for the seat of the Ottoman Empire as it prepared for war with Russia. He believed the war would bring freedom to Poland and he planned to form military units that would aid the Turks. It didn't happen. Mickiewicz died in Constantinople in October 1855. But generations of Poles continued to read his poems and share his revolutionary ideals. Poland, which he hardly knew yet longed for so much, was eventually reborn in 1918, after 123 years of partitions. A century later, Mickiewicz's torturous life path remains as inspiring as ever.